Hello YouTube, this is Asatsu5 and I got a new pen. I opened it up, but I thought I'd share this pen with you. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a full-fledged review on it because I'm just graphic, which means that my writing skills are very weak. So I don't really write. Um, although, be, uh, uh, um, in spite of that, I have a pen collection. This is not my whole entire pen collection. I have official space pen, a Rakendra pen, uh, I have, uh, I think, a Parker pen. I think I have three uh, Waterman pens. These are two of my favorite Waterman pens. Uh, this is the Hemisphere. It's a fountain pen. If you want to make a good impression on someone, hand them a fountain pen and let them write with that. They'll think you're the fanciest guy in the world, and um, they will definitely leave impressed. This one's one of my favorites. This is, I think, called the Phyllis, I think. I uh, can't remember. Let's see if I can get to focus. It has a cigar band on it. And that's kind of why I like it because I always thought cigar bands were cool looking. I always thought cigars were cool looking. But uh, I don't smoke so I wanted a cigar pen. Unfortunately this one is a little bit defective. If you press too hard on the uh, uh, pen uh, it will go inside of the barrel. Which sucks but hey, you know, it happens. Um, this is the newest pen to my collection. It came with this metal curl because it's a limited edition and um, it's named the Nautilus. If you're not familiar with the Nautilus, it's the name of the fictional uh, uh, submarine in the book slash movies of 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, uh, captained by Captain Nemo. And uh, this was one of the first book, chapter books you know, um, when we're kids, we um, summarize or we categorize books from books, like, you know, uh, regular books and books with actual chapters in them. We call them chapter books. As we grow older, we call them novels. Um, well, not always novels, but, you know, this was the first novel that I read. Uh, and me being dyslexic, I was quite proud of it. Enjoyed this book. And not only is the Nautilus a fictional uh, submarine, it's also the name of the U.S. Uh, uh, Navy's first nuclear-powered submarine. Uh, they were so impressed with uh, the nuclear submarine, they wanted to name it after something very powerful from uh, literature. And they chose the Nautilus because the Nautilus is really the one of its kind when it comes to submarines. Uh, there were submarines before 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. But um, there weren't submarines that you could like permanently live in. Uh, and when I say permanently, I mean for a long period of time without surfacing for supplies. But the uh, Nautilus in the book um, was such a submarine. It was captained by uh, Captain Nemo, and he had nothing to do with the land world. Uh, he um, um, really didn't like uh, people. And he didn't like uh, life on land, so he lived in the submarine in the ocean. He would just travel the world in a uh, submarine. And he took out some boats, and it, they kind of put a bounty on its uh, on the submarine. They did not know it was a submarine, because when this book took place, submarines were not really a thing. But uh, And to be fair, submarines of its type was not a thing when the book was uh, written. It was somewhat ahead of its time. But um, uh, they thought it was a Norwal whale. And they wanted to hunt and kill this Norwal whale that was sinking ships. Um, but a um, really cool book. Uh, I realized that um, uh, two of um, noteworthy books I read and enjoyed were French literature books. But um, uh, also in uh, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, they had scuba diving. When scuba diving wasn't very common, although it did exist in history before then. And um, I, I, like I said, I think I said it in this take, um, the, um, uh, the U.S. military named their first nuclear-powered submarine a after the Nautilus. And it was, one of the it was the first submarine that I know of that traveled to the North Pole uh, August 3rd, 1950-something. Uh, Let me look it up real quick. It is... Um, um, 1958 it traveled to the North Pole so this is the pin that was inspired by uh, the Nautilus 2000 Leagues Under the Sea uh, it's a um, titanium pin Cerakoted 
with um, this bronze color and it also has a blue Cerakote and it's supposed to be some type of iridescent. You can kind of see it there. It kind of looks like a reflection in the camera, but it has some gold undertones to it. This is a side click pin. You click on the uh, cap and the pin comes out. And then when you want to retract it, you press this button on the side and it retracts. Um, I don't really have anything to write on at the moment. Well, let's see. I got this. Um, Springfield Armory um, warranty activation to this. I um, guess there was no trouble with me writing my name. It writes. Now this takes a Pilot G2 Mini uh, insert and um, I think they don't sell that insert by itself. I think you have to buy the pen and take it out of the plastic pen and put it in this one. And I think there might be some adapters to put a visual space pen in it. But um, yeah, I am extremely dysgraphic, which means I have very poor fine motor skills. So it's very difficult for me to write. I have no real purpose for a pen other than signing my name. Uh, but um, uh, this was very much one of those late night uh, with a credit card type of deals and I really enjoyed the book so I was like yeah I'm gonna get this limited edition uh, pen and uh, I can't wait for my next book inspired purchase to come in I got a custom knife in the mail that I modeled after a character uh, in a book that I enjoyed so that's it let's see if I can get that gold to show up on the camera focus you can kind of see it all right so that's it I'm a Satsu 5 and I am out by the way I forgot to mention this thing is designed machined and um, well made in Texas which is very important for me because it's not that it has to be made in Texas, but me being a Texan, I take pride in that. So I wanted to share that information with you.